welcome to our visual arts and crafts class and I hope you have enjoyed uh, this class as much as I have. I have so much planned for you and today we, we will create a lady with an attitude and that lady is you. But first of all, I want you to mask up and I want you to stay six feet. I want you to be safe, okay? Hi ladies, today we'll be doing the lady with an attitude planter and you have that attitude. I know you do. First of all, we're going to get uh, a gallon jug. That's one of, one of our supplies. Uh, and we can use a water jug or a milk jug. And I also have uh, the detergent and the fabric softener uh, jars that you can use. And this is the, going to be the lady's face right here. The lady's face right here. The lady's face right here and the bigger the better the lady's face right here this will be open at the top and this will be the bottom so I'm going to put these aside for a moment okay now first of all we'll need the the jug we will also need some paint some spray paint that's pliable on plastic and you can get any uh, facial color that you want. You can get a light, you can get a dark, you can get black. If you wanted to, you can even go out the spectrum and get green or red. Then we'll need um, some white paint or some uh, red paint for her lips or some nail polish. Uh, a couple of brushes. We'll also need our hot glue gun and our glue. We'll need a box cutter or a knife to, to cut the top out. And then we'll need some green, greenery for right now. And we'll also need some wire. This is some wire that I got uh, from the dollar store in the little frame pack uh, with the nails and everything. And it's just a uh, wire that you hang a uh, picture on. So now, first of all, when we get the cleaned uh, jug, We'll take our box cutter and we will cut the top just right around this edge right here. And that's going to be the opening. And when I say top or bottom, we have to realize what is the top and what is the bottom. The top would be the, uh, the opening, uh, which would normally be the bottom of the milk jug or the container. So we'll do that and we'll cut it like that. So this part we can throw away. Now, this is the front. This is going to be the nose right here. And right here we're going to put some eyes. So when we, we get this and we get it dried out and cut, we will spray paint the, the entire outside. Just spray it with the spray paint and let it dry. And this says it dries in about 10 minutes or less. And I got this from, um, I think from Home Depot. That's where I got this from. So we can do that and we would cover the entire uh, container with brown spray paint or a neutral color or whatever color you wanted. Then, after that dries, we would draw some eyes and the eyes would go here. You can do any kind of eyes you want to do. You can do eyes that are open with the pupil or you could do eyes that are closed and all you could see would be uh, the lashes. So what I'm going to do is do the lashes. And then you can do the eyebrows also. And the eyebrows would go right up here. Let me see. Mm. I think I'll put my eyebrows up here. And you can do them thick, you can do them thin. Let's see. I just imagine this being brown or black or any other color and putting her eyebrows in. And that's why that that's where the marker comes in. And I use a Sharpie. And you can make her eyebrows as thick as you want, and you can put her lashes on as many as you want. And that's the look that you would get. 
and then right down here would be her nose or her nostrils and we put right up underneath that little hub we would put two little nostrils there and then here that's going to be her lips so you can save that when you get ready to use your red um, paint and you could put her some lips right here now when you do um, a lash like this or an eye like this a lot of times if you want to use the white paint you can do her eye like that and then this will be black and the other part will be white so it all depends on what type of eye that you'd like to have for your attitude because you will have an attitude okay and then I know a lot of you want to, since you haven't been out, need to practice on doing your eye makeup and your lip gloss and everything because we've been under control on lockdown. So now you can do it like that, or you can do it like this, or you can do one of each. But if you do the eye with the pupil, you have to have the, the white right here. That's why I said get, get some white, get, you can get some white paint and then a red paint for the lips. Okay, now after we do that, okay, we will punch a hole in the side, right on, on this, these two sides right here. And the reason why we do that is because we're going, we're going to hang this either on a tree or on the patio in the back. And the hole puncher I got um, at the Dollar, Dollar General store, they were a dollar. You just take it and punch your hole in it on the other side and if you want to be real secure you can put one in the back that's only if you want to so you have your holes where you can stick your wire or your thread through and I would suggest wire because it's going to be on the outside and uh, to protect against the elements I wouldn't use a, a cloth or a twine because that with the elements with the sun and the rain it deteriorates and then your plant might drop so now what we do is take, uh, and remember this face is going to be brown, flesh tone. And what we'll do is uh, put like a little headband on it. This is an old headband I had in, in the drawer, and uh, you could use that, or, or, or you could use um, an old towel, an old piece of sheet. But make it a vibrant color to coincide with your, your brown face because if you have a brown face, you want something that's going to pop out. You don't want to, to, to neutralize it. You want it to pop out. So this right here would be on the top. And then I have another one. And remember your colors. And there's one right here. And then I have another one. It goes here. I put that hip there. Some people like muted tones, but like I say, you have your attitude. So put that like that. And then what I would do, I'm going to do this one right here. Her face is going to be brown. So you would put your fabric across here and you would get your glue gun and then you would tap, tap, tap and put your glue there and your scarf so it won't come off. And you go all the way around. Put it right here. So it kind of stay right there. And make sure it's on that edge. Make sure it's on that edge. And go all the way around it. And if you'd like, you could put a bow or a knot on the side or in the front. Like you have a scarf on your head. And that's the way that would go. Okay. After you do that, you can put, you can put your lipstick right here. You put that on. 
right there. And if you want to put some color eye makeup on, you'll have to put it on with a color because I tried it with the eye makeup and it didn't work. So you would have to use another color if you want to put some eye makeup on your Attitude Planter. Okay, and then what I did, those earrings, uh, you can get an old earring and punch a hole with a pin right here to have your earrings hanging down. I would suggest some long earrings or um, just a string of beads and put here for her earrings to dress her up. And then after you do that, you said, well, okay, I'm about finished with her. And what you would do was punch about more, maybe five holes in the bottom of your tab right here, because this is gonna be for drainage. When you put it back on, you would put maybe some little rocks or some stones in it, and then you would put your soil in it, and then you would put your plant in it. Like this. And you would have your planter. And I would suggest when you put your live plant in it, uh, put something that hangs, um, maybe like an ivy or wandering jew, because when it starts growing out, it's going to look like her hair. So that's the synopsis of it, but I want to show you the one that I did. Okay, this is the one that I did. I've done a couple of them now. And like, let's pretend this is some, a real plant. I put a butterfly in there. So now this is how she looks. Now just think how gorgeous this will be on the patio or on the side of the garage or even uh, in a tree in the backyard. And you water it every now and then and it just grows and grows and grows. And this would be her hair. Like I did, I tied a knot here and I did two different fabrics. Um, I had a smaller piece and a longer piece and I just wanted a, a, a bow right here so I just tied that up. And then I made her eyes white so the pupil would show. And then I had a, one earring, one of my favorite earrings. I've lost one, so I said, well, I'll just put this here. And she just hangs in the, in, on the patio and she has an attitude. So we can do these, we can do them in different colors, different hues, uh, different jewelry, different scarves. And like I say, the greenery is when it, when it gets ready to grow and if, in a couple of months or so, you're gonna have a very beautiful planter with an attitude. And thank you so much for, for allowing me to come into your home and help you with these arts and crafts. I really enjoy them. And remember my motto, don't throw away anything, okay? Happy crafting. Bye-bye.